And today we have a very special guest to with us. Special in a way, a person who has three decades of experience of working in the livestock sector. Our teacher, if we are at this position, it is because of our teachers. And uh, with us today is Professor M. C. Sharma Sahib, who, uh, who is the former director and vice chancellor of Indian Veterinary Research Institute. Before that, he was the scientist at the Division of Veterinary Medicine, IVRF, then as the professor and head of Pantanagar University, <coughs> then joint director in the Pantanagar Agricultural University. From there, he was also he headed the Department of Extension as joint director of Extension, IVRF. Then from that he also had a, uh, he was he headed the CRG Magum Central Institute for Research on Goats. Then he also became the director Indian Council of Indian Veterinary Research Institute that is under ICA. The person, the mentor, the guide under whom uh, my teacher Professor Faisal Abir Sab did masters and PhD degree, and I had the privilege to work under him in the uh, doctoral degree. We welcome you, sir, and thank you, sir, for accepting our invitation for being with us and sharing your thoughts related to the development of the dairy sector. He has also uh, he also served as in charge dairy in IVR, so a lot of uh, experiences. He also developed the dairy sector in Vietnam. As an ambassador from the India, he went there and developed the dairy in the Vietnam also. Okay, so with us is also Professor Faisal Abir Sab, who headed the Division of Veterinary Epidemiology and Preventive Medicine, who also headed the Division of Veterinary Clinical Complex, Shohama, and uh, our teacher. He taught us Veterinary Epidemiology and Preventive Medicine. So, so because we came to know that he is, he, he is here only, otherwise, uh, <coughs> He was working in Ethiopia, he also worked in the Libya, so a lot of experience uh, sir has. So we welcome you sir accept, uh, and thank you for accepting our invitation. Though, sir, I uh, with all respect uh, uh, place on record that uh, we want to say sorry that we could not uh, incorporate your lecture in this because we are not knowing that you are here sir. But I am sure sir you will uh, share your expertise here also and in future also with us. Thank you for coming today, sir, for raising the occasion. With us is uh, Professor uh, Dr. S. K. Bharadwaj. He's a consultant poultry nutrition pan India. If any one of you is working in the poultry sector, so the best person to share the experience with regards to the feed formulation than the quality checking of the feed. He also uh, provides the consultancy to the countries like Bangladesh, to Sri Lanka, Nepal, to all the adjoining regions in the India. So we thank you, sir, for accepting our invitation and increasing the occasion. Thank you, Dr. Barnabas. So we now request to Professor M.C. Sharma sir, to please uh, share your views regarding the entrepreneurship in veterinary science and animal husbandry sector, especially the scope of the dairy development in the developing world. Thank you, Dr. Ajaj. And good morning, each one of you. Today I am happy that my two students, Dr. Fajal Abir and Dr. Ajaj, they are leading the veterinary science in JNK and they have done good work in IBRI and I know they are doing very good work here also. I will discuss something practical, not theoretical, but so theoretical I have given my lecture in your book or your compendium. So first of all, in, in, when we are a student, we are having only four disciplines. One is breeding and reproduction. Second is management, third is nutrition, fourth is health management. <clears throat> but now we are having five disciplines. One, one is marketing, entrepreneurship. It is very important. Whatsoever degree you are having, if you are not knowing how to market your product, you are nowhere. So for that purpose you should know the veterinary we are having, we are having lucky now. We are having very chance to <coughs> go ahead. So for that purpose, first of all, or we should know what are the status of veterinary science or animal science in the life sector. We are rich in animal science. We are having 535 animals in India, more than 800 million poultry. 
if you see the number of cattle, we are having 192 million cattle. Buffalo, we are having 109 million. And similarly, goat, 48, 148 million. And sheep, we are having 74 million. If you will see the production, in case of milk production, we are, we are first in world. Now, as per records, we are having 138 mil, mil, million ton milk in India. And second is USA and third is Denmark. So for that purpose, but it is not sufficient because we are having a large number of population in India. So for that purpose, we are able only 444 million milliliter milk per person per, per day. If we compare in developed country, they are having one, more than one liter per person per day. And moreover, whatsoever average production we are having for each and every person, it is very less because poor person they are not getting milk at all. So we have to increase milk production. For that purpose, dairy is very important sector. If you see production side, Uttar Pradesh is the maximum producer of the milk. Followed by Rajasthan. Earlier, last year, it was Rajasthan. Now, Uttar Pradesh. So, for that purpose, we are having cattle, buffalo. In cattle, we are having some breeds like Sahiwal, Gir, Rati, uh, and Thar Parker. Very good in milk production. If you will see exotic breeds like uh, Holistic Fusion, Jersey, Red Den, and brown fish. But they are very susceptible to the diseases. So for that purpose we are having cross rats. So now we have to start this different regions, private sector, the dairy farming. So dairy farming government of India having some finance. That's a national mission board program for cattle in Buffalo. For which if you want to start 50% subsidy you will get or up to 2 crore rupees you can get the, for the dairy farm. You can start by 20, 25 animals, 50 animals, 100 animals, 200 animals. So now it is easy, somebody want to open, then they can, under this mission mode program, they can, the funds. Similarly, in JNK, number of horses, pony or mules, we are having a large number. So only this year, we, I have tried for life to include this mission board program. Now pony and mules, they have already included mission board program. So farmers, whosoever working here, they can see that they can get the subsidy or start this hop, this pony and as well as mules. And especially Yak also, we have started this mission board program. So under mission mode program, we can get the funds. Secondly, earlier if you see, we are having only 5%, 4 to 5% land for fodder. 95% land is used for by grains or for human being. Now slowly, slowly, this number of this hectares of this fodder production is increasing. It is about 9 to 10% now increased. And it is a good business also. Near by cities, metros, farmers they are growing the fodder, they are selling to dairy farm. So now it is a good business. Secondly, regarding dairy farm, when you are talking about entrepreneurship in dairy, it is not only in India, it also in abroad. Government of India in 78, they have supplied 502 more buffalo to Vietnam. 70% uh, fund was from the Indian government and 30% from the FAO. So luckily or unluckily I was the expert in starting as a diplomatic expert to establish that farm. Initially it was farm now that is institute. So for that purpose whatsoever animal we have given and we have established different laboratories like clinical complex, medicine laboratories, Acetyloid laboratories, reproduction laboratories, all these things.
Now, during my time, we have started three sub centers, sub centers of that farm. So now they are having cross breeding with swamp buffalo, with river buffalo or mora buffalo. Because river, this swamp buffalo have a milk production very less, about one kg, one liter or two liter. But mora is 10 to 50 liter per day. So after crossing these breeds, we are having production of five to seven liter in cross bread. In more than 100 countries, we have supplied the animals that is here. Angul, Saiba, Nati, Murra Buffalo. So now, Russia, they have also start, started the Murra Buffalo farm. And this Braji, we are having Angul as well as Gir. The Angul breed is for their use for meat purpose. So for that purpose, <coughs> during that period, we have seen that in Vietnam, this animal, they are suffering with the abortion. So we have started to diagnose their part of the disease. So we have seen that the last trimester they are having the abortion. For that purpose, we have examined for leptospirosis, least diseases as well as for brucellosis. So on diagnostic purpose, when we have taken samples, we, have, we came to know that these animals suffering with the brucellosis. So about 85 animals they have slaughtered. Now that farm is free from the disease. Secondly, <coughs> government of India, they have given all necessary to develop this farm. Now they are in big farms and they are doing very well. Secondly, government of India want to establish in Mauritius to diagnostic laboratories. So for that purpose, government of India, I have deputed to develop that diagnostic laboratories. So we have developed diagnostic laboratories and especially they are having saiwal from the India. Good animals, very good animals there. And they are having mineral deficiency there. So we have established that mineral deficiency there. Then we have given the formula also. A what formula should be there to treat the animals. Regarding laboratories, parasitic laboratory, secondly, bacteriology laboratory and laboratory, we have established. Now then under bilateral program, it has been decided that our scientists will go there, Mauritius, their scientists, they will come for their education in India. So till today, about 10 scientists, they visited India at IVRI or Pankhran University or India or Karnal. Now our scientists are also going there. So these are the some projects we have developed. Thirdly, <coughs> as you are known, this bird flu. So we are having this program with the Minnesota University of USA. My throat is some part not working properly. That's why I'm not able to speak much. So, so we have having a collaboration with the Minnesota University of USA in bird flu control. So we have having six projects from the USA and one project from the UK. During my tenure as a vice chancellor, we have taken seven projects from there. And about 147 scientists we have sent for foreign, foreign countries for training. Similarly, so many country students, they are coming now to different universities. I think in Jammu and Kashmir, they are also coming. Or our students or teachers, they are going to different universities. It is a good thing. Secondly, we have to see when we are seeing entrepreneurship. Now we are opportunity for farmers as well as students or as well as professionals in dairy, poultry, as well as then yak, methun, and especially now our veterinarians when they are completing their degree, they are having good opportunity in the pet, pet animals. And especially Delhi, Noida, Bangalore, big cities, they are doing very well, they are earning a lot. Similarly, they, when you are talking about dairy farm, it means you are not only talking about milk, you are talking also for compost car, as well as vermi compost car. Many farmers or graduates, they are doing this practice. In Delhi, compost car, one kg equivalent to one, compo one kg compost car is equal to one kg of milk. Both rate is in Delhi or Noida on 50 rupees per kg 
of compost khad. Similarly, this vermi compost khad. And secondly, what's over our students who have told us or this BSc or MSc, they want to start, they can do the training in different institutes for six months, paravet, as paravet for six months or four months. In that training, we are giving the training for this AI practice, how they will do AI practice. So many students, they have learned the AI practice and they are doing very well in the field. They are earning and similarly for vaccination program, now we need our student, 12th part or BSc or BA pass, that they should learn how to vaccinate different or against different diseases. So after getting certificate of three months or six months, they can attest with the vetting doctors. They can do the practice. They will get the, and similarly for AI especially, government of India, they are giving motorcycle to that particular person as well as some money. Then they will attest with the vetting doctor. They will give them some villages that in these villages, 10 or 15 villages you will do AI and this much you will earn from doing the practice. So it is a good uh, this opportunity. Secondly, in poultry, <coughs> especially backyard poultry, it is a good opportunity. 50 or 20 or 100, this you, you can have. And Dr. S.K. Bharadwaj is sitting here. He is knowing very well, especially right on this uh, Haryana, and Punjab, now they are very rich in the poultry. Many farms we are having there. <coughs> they only, only after doing six month training or three month training, they have started poultry farm or dairy farm. Not only that, the, no, for fodder production, it is a very good opportunity. If you are from villages, you can start production fodder. And government India have a bank, fodder bank. For that purpose, you can supply the fodder to the produce of any dairy farm. So for that purpose, you, will, you can get funds also for that purpose. So fund is not problem, only knowledge problem. If you are having knowledge, if you are trained, you can start your work. So for that purpose, you can apply after certificate, suppose here only seven days. You can go for three months training or six months training. After that, you will get certificate. After that certificate, you will get a loan. So for that purpose, you can start this. After this, many Ayurvedic medicines for doing six month program, you can know that indigenous medicine, ITA, it's very much IT is very much available in the market. You can start selling these products, raw product product like this, this. Uh, one product we have developed, this all in all. And all in all having all herbal things and very much needed in market. Similarly, area specialist mixture Dr. Ajaz and he has worked on that. So if you are knowing that what the composition of this making, so you can start after learning the technique, you can start. So there are so many things you can start, but you have to have first training and certificate from the university or from this national institute. So for that purpose, first of all, you, you have to apply for different this, trainings. Seven day training is not sufficient to be very You need at least three months or six months training. I'm giving one example. In seven, eight, eight days, I have given, I have posted for some training in Mitrava. You might be known in, the, in near Delhi, Najabgarh. So formal training was there when we have joined the service. One Sardarji was there, young fellow. He want to see, he, he want to develop that stockmanship. So when I came to IBRI, I have given chance to him that for six months he came. Now he is doing very good practice in Mitra or Najawar. So if you are having thinking that you want to enter in the veterinary or livestock sector, you can enter or you can get the things. And moreover, I would like to see, you, you, please you ask the questions so I can help you how you will do the things. Because in lecture I have given everything, 
बट यू शुड आस्क क्वेश्चन एक तरफ से हमें केयर एंड टेक प्रॉपर करना है फार्मर्स के ओके दूसरी तरफ से हम प्रिवेंशन कैसे लेंगे कि हम खुद को भी बचाएं और एनिमल्स को भी और जो सर मतलब जिसके पास इकोनॉमी जीरो से जिसको स्टार्ट करना है तो गवर्नमेंट की कौन सी स्कीम्स ऐसी हैं जो उसको हेल्प करेंगी फ्रॉम जीरो से उसको स्टार्ट करना है फार्म लिस्टीरियोसिस These are important decisions in case in case of cattle buffalo. There are so many diseases, like this rabies is also very important disease. So for that purpose, we are having vaccines available. Regarding prevention, you are talking. We are having, but diagnosis must must be there. Many times disease is not there. We are killing the animal or we are isolating the animal from the herd. For that purpose, it is very, diagnosis is first thing to diagnose the disease. If you are able to diagnose the disease, treatment is available. So, in case of brucellosis, still we are not having any treatment. So, for that purpose, vaccine is available. So, in case of female, up to two years we are given the vaccine, but in case of male, we are not given. If we are given a male, or cat is there, or some disease, male can spread disease to female. So, that this is very important disease in human being also. I can give some examples. Scientists, they are sterile. And IVRI as well as pantherapy, I know the scientists. So for that purpose, maximum damage we are getting due to brucellosis. Third trimester we are having is still stillbirth or abortion. For that purpose, vaccine is available. It can be given. Secondly, leptospirosis now very important disease in human being as well as animal. It is spread from the rat, rats. Urination of rats, it is spreading. Many times, pond, they are suffering with the disease, this leptospira. So for that part, leptospira, still we are not have vaccine. But treatment is there, antibiotic is available, we can treat the disease. But in foreign countries, this vaccine is developed. Slowly, slowly, it will be developed in our countries also. Secondly, listeriasis is also causing this disease this abortion in third trimester. So for that purpose, still we are not having that vaccine, but in foreign countries, this vaccine is available. But treatment is there, this, these animals can be treated. Similarly, this tuberculosis and Jones disease, it is very important. Tuberculosis, many times you are given the feed, you are taking care of animal, but production is not there, animal is not equal, health is not good. So for that part, diagnosis, is there, but treatment of this tuberculosis is not important because it is very costly in case of animal. In human, it is all right. We can give it pass this streptomycin or nice, nice. So, but in case of we have to give for one year, it is not possible in animal. It is not. It is you can treat the animal, but it will be very costly. Yes. Similarly, Jones disease, especially in sheep and goat. It is very important disease. So for that purpose, diagnosis is there. And this vaccine is also developed by CIRG Mathura. It is available in the market. It is very good vaccine. Now the anthrax. Anthrax, as you are knowing, it is very dangerous disease. Not only for animal, human being also. And Second World War, you might be knowing, this anthrax powder is used to get the to get give the infection to different part, countries. So still, it is a very important disease for human being. So, but its treatment is there. It can be treated with the penicillin or other any antibiotics. So these are the precautions we can take. And regarding this eradication, in case of if farm is suffering with the brucellosis, it means we have to remove the animal. If you are not removing, other animal will get the infection. Similarly, other disease also. It means if we are not able to treat or we are not able to vaccination, we have to cull the animal. Cull means in course separate criteria. Regarding funds, as I have already discussed, now funds are available. Depend on you, your qualification, your training, as well as your how much animal you want to start. So nearby hospital, if you, if you are having six month training or three month training. On that certificate, 
you can apply to government of India or state government. Okay, I want to start this dairy farm. This much number animal there. Are. So neither my veterinary doctor. You have to discuss with him. Okay, farms are available. You fill the farms. Or after that, you apply to nearby bank, and they will clear your funds, and you will get in for six year. You have returned the what's over. They are, they are making your EMI. So for that purpose, maximum two crore rupees can be sanctioned. But you you should have land. If you are not having land, money will not be given. Land should be there. And after that you can apply, but it is who can apply? Only that person can apply who is having land, name of the owner. It is not like that. You are a person is having land, B person, brother or sister or anybody can apply. They will not get the loan. So it it is easy, no problem. But first for that purpose you have to certification from any institute or any university, herbalists or under new system of medicine. So we have tried for five six years that different combination of this medicine for skin disease, whether it is ringworm, whether it is this uh, this uh, mange, or whether it is pyoderma or anything else. So for that purpose, we are able to see what medicine we have developed. And now I can tell you what our com commission was there. We have used this okay, okay, and this. Uh, Mm. Extract of uh, garlic, extract of onion, extract of this uh, lemon, and curry oil. So these are the things. Then to increase the potency, that this kapur camphor was used, and we have tried in different animal, different diseases. After that, this we have bought the patent in 1996, 96 patent of this medication. Then it was. And this commercialized to the Innovatech, Lucknow-based company. Then, then this was this uh, distributed by Wokart Company of Bombay. So it is very effective medicine. But this type of things are available in villages. Many things are available which can be used for different diseases. For example, this neel curry. This plant is everywhere. If you will see the plant in the, this. Uh, the, uh, Different feet. This plant is blue color of flower is coming. The leaf can be used to treat the wounds, any wounds, or especially this FMD wounds. You can use. So these things are when you will have training, you can discuss in detail what type of medication can be used for different animals or different diseases. Anybody else, sir? Uh जब हम फार्म मैनेजमेंट की बात करते हैं सर तो जो बोवाइन मस्टर्ड्स है सर तो उसको मस्टर्ड्स वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट डिसीज़ एज इन अदर डिसीज़ लाइक एचएस मोरिसेप्टिसिमिया एफएमडी एंड इट इज़ आल्सो कॉजिंग डैमेज टू द एनिमल इफ टीट इज़ नॉट गुड एनिमल इज़ यूजलेस सो वी हैव टू टेक मिल्क इट but mustard is very common, or it it can be easily examined by the farmer or the owner, because whenever we are taking milk, you will see that pus is coming or blood is coming, or this. So on that basis, you can know very well if this animal is suffering. Certain medicine is available herbal based. In IVR, Dr. Rina Mukherjee here, she has developed one herbal medication. It has been. Taken by some company, or uh, detail I can give you later on, because it is very good combination of no, no uh, this kind of uh, uh, antibiotic. Only herbal drug is there. It is very effective. Extract of the neem. That no, उसमें और भी कुछ है विटामिन का लगा गया है, विटामिन सी है और जिंक है. So that formula can be given because now it is available with company. They are selling the product. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you.